Welcome back to the Kicks 96.5 Morning Show. Today's the day. It's release day for one of our local favorites, the two tracks. The brand new single, Canyon Wren, is out today. They're on the road tonight. They're in Boulder, Colorado. Tuesday, they'll be back in Dayton for the big annual 4th of July celebration. We're excited to have vocalist, guitarist, cellist from the two tracks, Dave Hubner, on the show. Thanks for coming on, Dave. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jeff. Taking time out as they're going from one place to the next, playing gigs. Last time you were on, though, Dave, the Kickstarter campaign was was in full force. The new album was happening. Well, congrats, you did it. D- did it get any easier this time around? Um, I mean, I guess so, a little bit easier. But I, you know, Kickstarters are are always um, they're they're a good thing and a and a tough thing, you know, because <laughs> we don't really like marketing ourselves like that and and having to feels like you're you're making a big ask of your community and your friends but at the same time there's this other side of it where as it all comes together and everybody gets on board you're building a community and strengthening that community of friends that supports your music yeah it, we were glad when we we made the goal because it, it does cost more than you would think to put out a album professionally and we made it to our goal to be able to do that so some of that some of that the result of that is that we can have a professional publicist and a professional radio promoter and people working on behalf of us so that we don't have to be the ones always marketing (laughs) ourselves (laughs) yeah it's it's tough when you're doing everything when you're wearing every single hat which is good and the the new song the new stuff sounds amazing you're going to hear it here shortly but along with doing the kickstarter then you got to unload all this merch you got to write song you got to do this you got to do that how's that going um it's going good we've got all the merch is coming in cds arrive uh soon and so then we'll be starting to get those out to our Kickstarter supporters. And that's one of the, the perks of the Kickstarters that, you know, you get your music early because the album doesn't officially release until August 25th. Yeah, the first single is releasing now with Canyon Ren. So we're excited to start getting it out into the public ears and doing all of that. But yeah, really, it was just it was an awesome process the way it all worked out. We got to record with our buddies, uh, Will Kimbrough and Sean Sullivan. We were lucky enough to get Trina Shoemaker to mix the album again. She mixed Cheers to Solitude, and she's just a, an amazing yeah. mixer, an amazing uh, professional in the industry. So we just felt really lucky and privileged to get to work with the same team. Just for, for a band from Wyoming to, to be able to put that together <laughs> feels really, really good. you know. So. Yeah, Will's huge. He's like a Grammy Award winner. Trina, I think you were waiting on her. What was happening with her? Was she having a baby? Was she doing somebody else's album? What, what was going she on? She was uh, writing a book. So okay. she has a book that she's kind of pitching around to publishers. She's been mixing. Um, she doesn't mix as many projects anymore, but she just mixed the uh, the Wood Brothers, Tanya Tucker's latest. Um, she's been mixing you know, a bunch of great records lately. So we were just lucky that it worked out with her schedule to get it in there. So the new album, you mentioned it comes out August 25th. It's a complicated life. You could take that. Yeah. However, <laughs> what do you guys mean? You know, that title came from the album cover art, uh, which is a painting by David McDougall, who's a local artist in Dayton, Wyoming, in his gallery. And we were looking at the painting and loving everything that he had in there. But this one, you know, had some cool elements. It had some mountains that almost looked like pyramids and this camel and some, some COVID bubbles coming out of the house into the <laughs> sky. And like, there's like an owl barbecuing and like just some really cool, crazy stuff. And he's like, well, you know, you could, if you want to just use it, you could come and take a picture of it and you could just use it for your album cover or your album art if you ever needed to. And I was like, well, we actually are planning on putting out a new album this year. That's interesting. And uh, we're like, well, what's it called, you know? And it gave us the name. It's a complicated life, and it just like seemed very uh, like a an awesome coincidence because it was just like, well, that's without knowing it, there's kind of that's almost sort of a theme. It's like a theme album unintentionally, so you know. So yeah. it, it that was like ended up being like the guiding theme, and so once we heard that, it was like, well, that's actually like really perfect for this record because there's a lot of stories. You know, the other ideas we'd had for the album, you know, had been like stories or storyboard or whatever. And so it was just kind of, it just fit that theme and we had to roll with it. So it was just like so good. Perfect. It's crazy how things 
happen like that in life. The two tracks, go check them out. The two tracks.com. They're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. They're everywhere. The brand new single Canyon Wren is out today. What a month you guys have had in California, this Bishop, California. That looked amazing. What was that stage? Yeah, it was kind of my old hometown. I lived there for like 15 years. That stage is at Mill Creek Station, and it's this, this folks' backyard, and they had basically just made this awesome stage and moved <laughs> thousands and thousands of pounds of rock out of the way to clean up this, this cliff face and make it flat and do all the things that needed to be done. And years ago, there was a festival there called the Tug Festival for a couple years in a row and got to see some great bands there a day then they've just kind of occasionally been using it for music ever since i was really glad a friend of mine put together the concert out there and it was just awesome because i got some old friends to sit in and play some tunes with us and there were just a ton of old friends in the crowd but the eastern sierra is just always you know it's one of those places it's a small community so if you've lived in a small community for 15 years it's kind of always your home you know even if you move away and that ties into the song a little bit, because h- how far is that from Baja? Well, it's still a little ways. You've probably got six or seven hours down oh, the border, okay. and then another another ten hour, well, eight or ten hours from there to to the property down there. Yeah, Canyon Wren. You know, I mean, there's Canyon Wrens all over the West, so it, it's a song that can certainly resonate if you're within sight of the ocean, but it also resonates kind of anywhere where where you where you're in those wild places. It, it's definitely meant to be this very direct you know kind of time capsule and take you back to a morning waking up on on the pacific coast of baja with some fog some breaking up fog clearing it's awesome well let's talk a little bit about the song because you mentioned baja sitting on the the beach you had what a picture of baja and another picture that you started writing a story about it yeah it's funny that i was we had just gotten back from a trip down there and was going through my pictures and I'm a photographer as well so I was looking through my photos of some of the sunrises and wanted to post a couple of them on social media and just you know, I was looking at one of the pictures and just wanted to try to capture in the best way I could the feeling of that photograph and what it was capturing you know that sunrise that location everything and it literally we're almost word for word, you know, just like a wicked dawn, like a bird looking for its song, like the wind picking up speed to race the sun. So then like a day or two later, posted another uh, photo from the same trip, wanted to kind of keep the storyline going, you know, just thought that was all it would be. It was just like a couple poetic kind of descriptions of some photographs and the experience down there. What started is kind of a couple of just poetic stanzas, you know, yeah. kind of revisited and had the inspiration of like some early J.J. Kale albums that I'd been listening to and kind of getting back into uh, just like wanted to put something to that vibe and it just it just clicked and that was that was where where it went musically it's great it sounds great Canyon Wren is a bird no yes. one knows that <laughs> what, what we're talking about here they're going what, what the heck are these guys talking about uh the song is about emptiness loneliness because the, the birds living out in the middle of nowhere uh are on the beach there's no cello in this song right it's, yeah it's an electric guitar it's tune a good, it's, it's one a guitar where i play tune. electric guitar yeah yeah i like the birds singing at the end so when you when you're listening at the end you catch it yeah. I, I didn't catch it the first time then i was like what what oh the- yeah, yeah totally <laughs> yep that's a canyon wren song uh recorded in baja and added on to the song so nice and then you mentioned your writing you've been trying different writing techniques or writing styles along the way yeah. has it been better has it been easier has it been more frustrating what have you thought honestly it, it it's been it's been kind of the same it's just you find inspirations from different methods and different approaches there's another single that we'll be releasing that's a song about my mom's passing and later in july that we'll release and that one kind of came from an idea from sort of piecing together some different phrases and sentences and there was like a different kind of technique involved in that but most of the time i i actually kind of approach it in the same way as canyon wren where a lot of a lot of the best songs come out of just writing something down that you're really feeling and making it super direct and super clear and then coming back to it later and going okay, I really like this idea. If you really like the idea, then you then you come back to it and turn it into a song. 
and then there's some that still to this day some songs just it all happens at the same time you're you're strumming your guitar and you've got a, an idea of some words and it just flows out so yeah and you um, can feel the but emotion. yeah we've got a we've got a lot of a lot of songs uh a lot of fragments of songs lots of stuff to work on for uh for the next record you know already so <laughs> the, the train never stops for the two tracks go check them out the two tracks.com they're on facebook instagram twitter the new single canyon wren is out today you're in boulder tonight fourth of july in dayton they've moved it i guess but you guys are still on that's still happening yeah they're gonna have it uh in the park behind the town hall actually in ranchester oh in ranchester because um, they had to move it out of connor park because it's flooded it's in the park behind the town hall in Ranchester, and that'll be a great time. Cruising, starting starting things off, and then uh, we'll be playing till about dusk, and then there's fireworks. So it'll be awesome. Sweet. Cruising, and then the two tracks. Uh, go check them out, 4th of July, this Tuesday night. Go check them out, the two tracks.com. Go and buy it. Go stream it. Go listen to it. Canyon Wren. Here it is, Dave. Safe travels. Happy 4th. Thanks so much, Jeff. It's the two tracks. It's Kicks 96.5.